Hello again. Sorry about that other video, but um, it was cut short. My memory card on my phone is slowly degenerating and giving me less and less memory. Okay, I painted up this the two two floors of this house, and now I'm trying to do the windows. I'm trying something new. I've got a type of a mesh, a, a plastic mesh that I'm using, and um, the blue is ink with a PVA glue, and I've used that before, but with my other normal window setup, like this, and I'm just creating like a type of a window frame. The, the cross inserts in here are what they use for when you lay tiles. They put those between the tiles to give even spaces between laying tiles. So I normally do that when I'm trying this. I've put down the PVA glue and ink and it, it dries like a blue, shiny blue, so it gives you a sort of a, the effect of a, you know, the, a, a reflection of a glass window. So it doesn't look too bad, but I'm, the mesh I haven't tried before. So once the windows are done, I just have to bang in the door and then that's done. The other two, the other two floors I got coated. As you can see, it's nice and even. Unlike this one where it dips and nice and nice and even and smooth. So I don't think I'll have any problems sticking the, the window and door frames on there. And as I said, it'll be nice and smooth. Also, just to test it on the, the bigger one, I just threw together two two box pieces for the bigger one. Just have to lay the strips around the edge to give it that edge that I'll do. And I'm uh, going to see how they work out. So, so this, these are ready now just to put on the frames. And see how that works. I just hope the glue actually takes on this mixture of mine. And this, this is what I'm actually multiplexing between. I'm building some of these boxes for my brother. It's for a UPS system where you switch from UPS to bypass. So it's just been thrown together. Bit of heavy wiring. Long time since I've done this type of work. I did this when I was training. A lot different from from working in the electronic R and D department, but uh, hopefully it will bring some sort of income and also keeps me or keeps. I've got my flames of war stuff to keep me busy, but you know also. You know, people say that, you know, I should be doing other things besides just sitting and playing with models all day. So, hopefully this will keep the critics uh, um, appeased for a while. I'm doing something constructive. Quite a lot of manual graft, cutting out all these slots manually. Well, not manually, uses my, my Dremel. A rotary tool with a cutting with a cutting disc, cut the slots and then drilling drills to drill around holes. Uh, hopefully it'll earn a few bucks and I can buy a few more plastic soldier company tanks with it. Okay, well, that's just to sort of, uh, as I say, that last video just ended rather abruptly, so I just thought I'd sort of follow it up with a selfie. But I'll do one tomorrow well, once, these, once these windows have dried properly. Once the, once the, the glue dries and, and settles, this, uh, this plastic stuff is actually a mesh, like that. Uh, the idea is that as it dries, it sinks down, and you just settle. You just leave a, a layer, just enough to hold the, the the mesh into the frame, and then have the blue sort of blue background behind the mesh. 
That's the idea behind it, but we'll wait and see what it looks like tomorrow. Okay, I'm going now. Bye.